Yahweh, Baraka Tha Yahweh Shai. Baraka Tha Yahweh, Baraka Tha Yahweh Shai. Baraka Tha Yahweh, Baraka Tha Yahweh Shai. Call her Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are ruling well, and truth, and diligence, and sincerity. Shalom to the true and sincere Akhnia, man, that's out here fighting a good fight of faith, man. This is the brother Tazer Yar from Great Millstone, India, and the camp in Gary, and also. It's about my song. Alright, coming to give a, a, a lesson through the power and spirit of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shah, man. So without further ado, this is uh, Sirach chapter 11. And uh, I'm going to just start at the top because the Lord, the Lord was basically, you know, uh, uh, Solomon was giving reverence to like, you know, the things that's small upon the earth, but that makes a big deal, man. And in the eyes of these people in the world, man, we we are small. We we are, we are speck in their eyes, man. Hey, but in the day to come, man, the Lord is going to exalt His true men that serving Him, all right, over all the nations, and also those that don't believe that is of the Israelite community, two thirds, man. All right. So this is a uh, Sirach eleven and one. Wisdom lifted up the head of him that is of low degree. And maketh him to sit among great men. It says, Command not a man for his beauty, neither abhor a man for his outward appearance. Okay. So, you know, it's not, don't judge a person by the, don't judge a book by his cover, basically, man. You look at a man just because that man uh, looks as though he's intelligent, that don't mean he's intelligent. Just because that man look like he's clean, that don't mean he's clean in the inside, man. That's right. Be filthy as hell on the inside, clean on the outside, man. That's right. And that man that's filthy on the outside can be the, the most purest thing in the inside, man. You know? That's right. The Lord said uh, that when you judge, you're supposed to judge righteously, or judge wisely. You know, so you judge a person according to their actions. You know what I'm saying? How their actions uh, line up. You know, you don't. Just judge because of the way they look, man. That's that'll be foolish. You know, here it is. You judging a man just because he look good, you know, because he got money or whatever. Which is what women, do. right? Exactly. That's, a, that's right. You're supposed to judge a man by off character. You know, it's as simple as that, man. You know. He says, verse three, the bee is little among such as fly. But her fruit is the chief of sweet things. Right, man, going into the honey. The bee, the bees, um, you know, a purpose on the earth is they pollinate the earth, you know, and then they, they make honey, man. And honey is a, a, a very high commodity to have, man. Honey has all type of uh, nutritional um, benefits, all right, to the body. You know, that's what uh that's what uh John the Baptist used to eat. Locust and honey. I mean uh yeah, locust and honey, man. Locust and wild honey. Wild honey. Yeah. Natural honey. Un untampered. That's right, God. Untampered. I forget which one of the uh kings killed the lion. No, that was Samson. That was Samson. <laughs> he killed the lion and ate the honey out of the lion. God, yeah. You know? Continually reading. First four, boast not of thy clothing and raiment. And exalt not thyself in the day of honor. For the works of the Lord are wonderful, and his works are hid among, I mean, and his works am, among men are hidden. See, because the Lord gave you that. He He exalted you behind closed doors. It wasn't you that did it. So you can't look at yourself and say, oh, I did this. You ain't do nothing. The Lord gave it to you, man. You know? That's, that's you know, that's a that's a spirit of humility to know, like, hey, man, the water you have about me, I was shut. Instead of saying I did it Because it wasn't you Verse 5 Many kings have sat down upon the ground And the one that was never thought of Hath worn the crown hey, Which is going into Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai was the one that was never thought of To, to wear the crown man And, he, and he's going to come back And he's going to show that he was the king of the earth The whole time man That's right That's right man And uh, also uh so is his men. That's the election. They're gonna wear a crown too, you know. And uh, 
The scriptures say that the, uh, the Lord, uh, matter of fact, and we can find that, Baba Kusha, uh, uh, he said he used the, uh, the, uh, uh, the foolish, foolish things, things of the earth, of the earth to confound, to confound uh, the wise. As a matter of fact, you can get it, Baba Kusha, you know, because uh, right now the men of the Lord are at a low degree in this wicked planet and in this wicked place. You know, we are at a low degree. Poor, you know, financially and spiritually, you know, but rich, rich, you know what I'm saying? Because they got the wisdom and knowledge of how about should we have a shine, you know? But, um, I got it for you. Go ahead, read it. This is, uh, First Corinthians. I'm gonna start at, uh, 26. It says, For ye see your calling. Brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Right, and you got a lot of men that are mighty and you know noble. They say of the, of the world, but a lot of them are not called, man. The Lord is not supping with them, revealing His mysteries with them. You know, because the Lord got set uh, uh, actual special men, you know, set aside for Himself, which is called the election. You know, that's who he sucked with, you know. You know, um, those who are, uh, uh, that has humbled themselves, you know, to, uh, and, and made themselves ready to be taught all over again. Those men that came in and was born again, man. Those new bottles, you know, that prepared, that's, that, that's, uh, that, that can accept this new wine, man. You know, go ahead. Because, you know, there's certain Akiya men that, that didn't even know how to read when they first came in the truth, man. That's right. You don't, hey, it's not a bunch of scholars in the faith right now, man. Men that got college degrees, that's doctorates and stuff like that. But, hey, the Lord gave them this truth, which, what, made them uh, more of the prize than the rest of the world, man. That's right. You know, it says, uh, verse 27, but the power hath chosen the foolish things of the world to right. confound the wise. Right, the foolish things he have even, he, he, uh, chose to confound the wise, which is this man, these men that go out here in the highways and the byways with their uh, sackcloth, which is those garments that we wear, you know, with the fringes and water blue. You know, we have our beards on our face. And, and to the world, it's the foolish. It's foolishness to them, you know. You know, but he used, he used us to confound the wise, you know, with the truth, man. You know, with the truth, the true gospel, man, with, with, with the Lord's words, man. You know, and, and not many men have this, man. You have pastors, you know what I'm saying, that went to theologian school and seminary schools, man, but they don't know the truth, man. They're not blessed with the uh, mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, man. I was speaking with one, one of them the other day, and uh, he was confounded in the spirit. He, he couldn't say anything. I, mean, I was reading, reading the scriptures and breaking it down, and he was just looking like, wow, well, you have a nice day, young man. And he walked away. He, he ain't had nothing to say. He, I left the spirit, Yahweh Shem Yahweh I left him speechless. He couldn't say anything. Hey, because you know, hey, that happened at Captain Lee, man, yep. with his pastor. You know, the brother, the pastor made a, a, a testimony at his at his funeral, man, saying, like, the, the, the brother asked him some questions that he couldn't answer. You know, so funny. This man said he had uh, seven years of school in seminary. In seminary and theologian schools, you know, that's what he told me. He said, I have my master's degree and my doctrines and all of this and this and that. And I'm like, okay, but that don't mean shit, man. It don't mean nothing, you know, because you got to be ordained by the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord is the one that gives the mysteries, gives the understanding. Matter of fact, the scriptures tell you that. It says that uh, uh, the Lord, the Most High, he gives the increase, man. So you can go to, you know, school for 20 years on the Bible, man. And, and if the Lord, if the spirit of the Lord ain't giving you the increase, man, it don't matter. It doesn't matter, man. You know, he's exalted in this world for a short time, you know, because the world will listen to him. You know, like the Lord said, the Lord said uh, the, uh, the, uh, the world will love their own, you know. But the Lord, he loved us because he chose us. He called us up out of this place, man. Lord willing, we the chosen, I, sh I should say. 
you but know, to a degree, we was called out of this place. Yeah, we was. Because we see things with different eyes now. That's right. The Lord has gave gave us that ice out, that ice out. Right. You know? And he, and he uses us to confound the wise, man. That's the beautiful thing about being in this truth, man, is, is the truth and being man. a part of preaching the truth, man. He took them skills off our yes. eyeballs, yeah, man, kind. so we can see. And then also yeah. to be that example to live by it, man, and not yeah. just be out there, you know, being a hero only, but yeah. also, you know, a doer. Because that's what the Lord loves, you know. He loves to see obedient children and being a good example to, 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 the, uh, to the flock. You know, to the nation of Israel. You know, you know that's what the Lord, that's what the Lord want us to do, man. Go ahead, bro. Hey, hey, hey your actions confound them, man. Your actions alone, you know, uh, uh, your obedience to your how about Shemiah with Shah confounds them, man. They get confounded off that because these these people out here, man, they're not, you know, uh, uh, doing the will of the Heavenly Father. They're not doing it even not even a little bit, man. But the men of the Lord are, man, to the best of their ability. You know, and that's that's important because it can either uh uh it can it can draw somebody else in into the truth. You know what I'm saying? It can draw them in, like, man, I want to be like them. I want to serve the Lord too. I want to be right, you know, I wanna I wanna live different. That's why that's important, man. You know, or it's gonna just draw men some men away because they wicked anyway. The Lord made them like that, man. You know, he made them fit for the destruction that's coming. You know? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Con, he says, uh, And the power have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Right, Con, he chose the, the weak things of this world, man. <laughs> you know, we ain't got no no um, no um power here. You know what I'm saying? We don't, the only power that we have is the Holy Spirit, man. You know, the power that's in the words of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. And no, that's what confounds the strong things in this world, man. You know, it's the words of the Heavenly Father, man. Because it's all truth, man. Truth hurts. You know what I'm saying? Truth will break, you know, break you, man. It'll cut you. Matter of fact, if you can get, if you don't have no more to that, uh, uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. Yeah, kind of. yeah. You got more to that? This is uh, mm -hmm. verse 28. And base things of the world... And things Ooh, which are base things of the world, man. The base things right now in this world are the Israelites, man. Yep, the Israelite men. The Israelite men are at the bottom of the total, man. Yep. We're at the bottom, man. We don't have any kind of mind, any kind of power, or any kind of control over anything, man. We the abominations of the world. Man. We 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 it's are at the, the world. We the bottom, man, right now. Come but the on. but the Lord is using these men that are humble and their spirits, man, and. And, and meek, you know, he's using these men to speak his words, man. You know, and that's a beautiful thing, man. Some more? Yeah, con. It says, uh, and base things of the world mm -hmm. and things which are despised have the power chosen. Yea, and things which are not to bring to naught mm -hmm. things that are. So, so like, you know, nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna be expecting the men that's out here that's teaching this word to be who they are in their time to come, man. That's right. You no, know, the men, like you were saying, we have no power. The men that didn't have any power, nobody is going to expect for the Lord to come down here on his chariot and beam them up and make them the glory of the world. Right. Nobody's going to expect that, man. Right, nobody's expecting it. And it's, so, it's beautiful and brilliant because the Heavenly Father, he using these low men you know, at the low degree, at the of the low degree, yeah. using them to build up the new kingdom of heaven, right, right before these these people's eyes, man. They don't even realize it, man. The heavenly Father is literally building up the nation of Israel all over again, and it, it, it's spiritual, man, because we are the lively stones, man. Like uh, uh, Peter said, man, you, you know, we we are those lively stones, man. If you can get that Bible uh I think it's Second Peter. Um, I'm grabbing uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. Oh, yeah, can I get that too? Uh, 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 then I'm going to start we'll finish it off with this, though. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, brother. Salak, yeah, go ahead. This is uh, mm -hmm. the 29th verse mm -hmm. that no flesh should glory in his presence. Con, yeah. Because it's all about humility, man. That's right. The Lord is going to bring up those, like you said, that's of, 
of a contrite heart, man, that's broken with a contrite heart. That's which right, is the humble man, the men, you know, that never even expected themselves to be somebody, you know, living in this society, man. Didn't didn't have any hope in this world. Didn't know what they was gonna do with their life, man. Just living a living a every day to day life, just trying to survive, man. These are the men that the Lord is calling out to. Those who who, who want a, a change in the world, man. That's right. That don't want to be in a place like this, man. That look around and it's, it's just seeing disparity and, and it's just hurt because they like, man, is this is all? This is this is it? I can't. I was born on this earth for this, you know. Because because in the truth, man. Before the truth, I always felt like I was royalty, but I never knew why. And then on top of that, I just always didn't like the way things was, man. The world is wicked, man. You know. That's right, brother. This is a uh, Hebrews four and twelve because you made that point. You know, the truth hurt, man, and it do. But you know, it's supposed, it, you know, the truth supposed to hurt in a good way. Kind. You know, uh, if you want to correct yourself. Right. If you want correction. Yeah. It's gonna hurt. You know what I'm saying? But it has to. Because you're going to be ashamed of yourself. That's right. Yeah, you have to be. That's that humility part. That's uh, humbling yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To be able to take that. You know, you got to be able to humble yourself in this thing, man. You know, and there's nothing wrong with, you know, you know, uh, being humble, man. Or, or taking the low, you know, accept and rebuke. You know, it's a beautiful thing in the eyes of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, to accept correction and be, like the brother said, contrite, man, remorseful. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I'm remorseful about a lot of stuff in my life, man. You know, hey, hey the, the scriptures say kiss the sun, at least he be mad, man. Hey, opportunities, opportunities, you know, being cut by the word all the time, man. That, those are the opportunities where you got, you know. Uh, uh, work on yourself. Work on yourself. Be humble. Because there's times when brothers teaching <sighs> yep. and what they may say may not even be pertaining to me at that moment, yep. man. But I, but I feel it in my spirit like, man. You know, it's the, it's the fear of wanting to be the man that they talking about yeah. when they rebuke it. Kind. You know? And, two, it make you reflect on yourself. Like, so what am I lacking at, man? That's right. Because you want to, because that's the whole thing, man, is to reflect on yourself, man. Are you are you a, a man of the Lord, man? Because you, you can't worry about whether somebody else uh, don't want to get their salvation. You got to worry about if you want your salvation. That's right. And apply it, man. You can only lend a helping hand to those that's at, that's seeking for help, man. But aside from that, you got to work on yourself. You know? That's right. He say, uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the power is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, mm. piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of heart. So when you going off, hey, the most high considers everything. What was your mind that when you did this? What was your intent when you did this? You know what I'm saying? Because some, some brothers, you see, it's sometimes, you know, you can go off and not know you're going off, man. You would have thought it was okay and you was doing it and the Lord might have, like like you said, uh, winked at your transgression. Like, oh, okay, you necessarily didn't mean that. You didn't know no better. And that's being part of, you know, being a babe, man, being in the flesh. You know, but then, but then when you learn, then it's a difference now. Yeah, but see, it's a discerning, too, because, God. you know, the word being, uh, you being rebuked by the word, God. how the way you going to take it? Yep, that, too. You know, because you, yep. you might buck up and, and, and be puffed up and be mad, man, and get offended, you know. And then you'll know, man, right there that this man ain't right because he can't handle you know, being rebuked, you know, but a man that can take rebuke, you know, and accept it and humble himself, that's a man of the Lord, you know? And two, yep. you know, that's not always an easy process. That's something you have to uh, practice yeah. on, yep. man. Humility is an act that must be practiced. It is. Because it is. Yep. when you coming from the world, that's right, brother. the world taught you how to be mm -hmm. prideful. You know what I'm saying? That's how the world operates off pride. Right. Especially coming from a world that, you know, Jake got a low self-esteem already. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Jake puffed up already. You know, that's so, their defense. Yep. Okay. That's right. You no. Know, 
then when you come in the fed, like you said, you, they already puffed up from having low self-esteem. So now they got to come and, and tear that wall down yep, and be right. straight giving unto the word to the Lord, man. And that's a scary thing sometimes, man. Come. You know? It is, man. You know, well, everything be for our learning, you know, everything that we go through in this life and everything that we see, everything around us is tools, you know what I'm saying, to use, you know what I'm saying, for uh, being humble. You know, because the Lord, he shows us every day, man, every single day, whether it be through uh, somebody dying, a loved one, somebody's close to you, you know, or just Jake in the news dying every single day, the Heavenly Father taking them out of here, you know, because the Lord can take you out, you know, that's what's supposed to keep us humble, keep in mind who has you know, the power of life and death. It is the Heavenly Father, man. He is in control of everything. Which brings me to this scripture. Go ahead, brother. Come. You know, the Lord is, he's merciful in every way, man. But you got to seek his mercy. You got to seek his face to get, the, to get his mercy. You know? Go ahead, brother. Come. This is a... Uh... First Samuel chapter two, I'm start at six. Mm -hmm. Yahweh killeth and maketh the laugh. That's right. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. So, you know, the Lord set these the, the Esau above us, the basis man of the earth above us. You know, because we was not following His words the way we were supposed to. Man. That's right. Man. We kept breaking His word, man. So He He decided to allow the weakest man amongst everyone on the earth. To rule over everyone, man. To to show an example, to teach a lesson. Like just because I made you the, uh, the 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 glory of the world, that don't mean I'm not worthy to be reverenced, man. You still gotta you still gotta answer to me, you know. You, just because you Deuteronomy seven and six says what, man? I'm gonna pull it up just right quick. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 says, What? For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So just because he made you above all people that are upon the face of the earth, you know what I'm saying? And a special people unto himself, you know what I'm saying? That don't give you the right not to be righteous. You still got to do the right thing, man. You know? Yeah. And, and, and listen and take heed. Right, Verse 7. Yahweh maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lift it up. So that's what he's going to do unto us, man. You know, Lord willing that we be other men. You know, he's going to lift us up. He's going he's gonna to deliver us from what? Our lowest state, man. Go ahead. Being, being in our lowest state, man. Men that's, you know, lacking. Yeah. You know, be lacking his word, lacking faith, lacking, because you in his flesh, so you're going to be lacking something until the day Yahweh shall come and uh, deliver yeah. you from it, man. You know? Right now, we in practice stages, man. We practicing, we re rehearsing the righteous acts, man. To, to, to try to get ourselves prepared for the day of the Lord coming, man. So he can have mercy upon us just for the, for the effort that we give, man. You know? That's right. But he says, uh, verse, verse eight, he raiseth up the poor out of the dust. So that's what we're going to see in them times to come, man. The people that everybody looked down on, the people that nobody, you know, wanted to be like, the people that everybody despised, man. These is going to be the men that you see the Lord putting the crown on their head, man. And, and making them rulers over you to judge the world, man. According to his righteousness. He says, and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the are Yahweh's, and he hath and he hath set the world upon them. See? So this is a this is prophecy as well, man. The beggars, man, the poor, those and who we ain't begging the world, we begging the Lord, man. That's right. 
we begging the Lord, Lord, help us, deliver us. Cause we going what through through uh, persecution, man. We going we going through straits every day. Struggling to live our day to day life, man. Fighting demons in your in your spirit in your man. You know, fight uh, uh, struggling to, to to provide for your family members. You know, going through the sorrows and the pains of the earth where people don't respect you because you're an Israelite, man. You at the bottom of the totem pole so your own women don't obey you or listen to you when you say something to them. Brothers having evil eyes towards one another. Everything, man. We praying for salvation from this shit, man. No. This is Luke chapter 14, verse 11. For whosoever exalted himself shall be abased. And that's what we did, you know. The scripture says, uh, uh, Yeshua waxed fat and kicked. So we started smelling our shits, man. We started saying to ourselves, we ain't, we ain't need the power no more because we was already setting our land and he gave us all the milk and the honey. We was we was, we was owning our land. We was owning a, a, a abundance of riches, you know. Our women was in order. We we just we just we just you know just wanted to follow the ways of the heathens, man, and be like them and enjoy the things that the Lord blessed us with. And that's why He punished us the way He did, man. He says, and they and said, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. So right now we're in a humble estate, man. Well, we're in the most humblest of states, man. Because we, the men, men that's in this troop, we done lost everything, man. Some of us, we done lost wives, children, jobs, a place to lay your head at, you know. Men of the Lord, we face a cross every day, man. We losing ourselves, man. We losing our, our old man and coming into a new world where we don't have friends in the world no more, man. We losing our lives, literally. That's right. Yeah. You know, so we in the most humblest of states that we can be in right now at this point, man. That's why the, the Lord is going to use the, us as an example to show the world, right? Because the scripture says, what? He has made us a spectacle amongst men, man. I'm going to pull it up. Luke 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. Oh, man. It says, For I think that the power hath set forth us, the apostles, last. And when, when apostles, it mean what? To be sent, man. A delegate, messenger, one sent forth with orders. You know? So that, that goes into all men of the Lord, man. We are messengers that's delegating the word of the Lord to the masses, man. Under our apostles. All right, it says last as it were appointed to death. See, because that's how too we know that the Lord is coming real soon, man. Because He set us up last to come out here and push this word. Because every time a kingdom was finna be destroyed, the Lord was sending His men out there to tell them before it happened, man. And and, and this hasn't been done in a, in a very long time, man. And now we're in the days where it's a lot of men waking up into this faith, man. That's doing just exactly just that. Telling people the day of coming, man. It says, It were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. You know, going into that character that the brother was talking about, man. Because we don't carry ourselves the way everybody else is, man. We ain't out here just uh, living in, in the assets of rioting as everyone else. We're not in the clubs, shaking our ass with hoes, you know. Out here being drunk on the blocks with the guys, shooting dice, you know, game banging, selling selling drugs, fucking all the hoes in the neighborhood, you know? We ain't living like that. It's losing our lives. Robbing people, killing people. He says, verse 10, we are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Hamashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised, which all men are, man. All men of the Lord that's doing this work is despised, man. 
our own family sometimes don't even want to be around us. No, they don't. They be they despise, they despise it. They be despising the man of the Lord because of the truth. Okay. Because the words of the Heavenly Father, man, it, to them it sounds strange. It sounds crazy as hell to them in their mind. That, you know, only reason why it sounds like that is because the Lord, you know, he blinded them. Okay. You know, he gave, that's why the scripture said, woe unto them that call good evil and call evil good. Because they've been programmed to, uh, you know, um, that's a that slave mentality. They've been, you know, programmed to think what's evil is good and then what's good is evil. That's Esau Edom. You know, that's what he put, that's one of his snares. That's why people don't know, they don't know shit, man. They've been conditioned in their slavery. That's what I'm trying to say. They've been conditioned to think the way they think. All this time that went by. This is nah. This couldn't. What they saying don't make sense. That's how the way they feel. But you them know, niggas, them niggas sound them crazy. Broke ass niggas on the corner. Yeah, them niggas need to get a job. You know, niggas. That's how the way they they, they see it, man. They you know they, these niggas they, they need to get a job. They out there begging, you know, bearing a false witness, all types of madness. No, we're not be begging for shit. You know, we out here making ourselves a, a living sacrifices for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, to do what our Lord told us to do. He told us to go and, and, and give you warning for him. You know what I'm saying? And the warning is out. You know what I'm saying? The warning is everywhere. You know, so ain't no excuse. The Lord is going to come. And if you if you don't repent, then, hey, you're going to get destroyed. Simple as that. As yeah, wish I say what? Yep. Many are called, but few are chosen. chosen man. Yep, that's right. So we calling everybody, actually. Okay. We the out word. here calling everybody that'll give an ear to listen to that's right. and that'll follow. Right, we just out here fishing for the election, man. But few are chose, which are who the election. That's right. Few, few of all these people that walk past us on a day to day basis, man. You know. We out here calling out to to the uh, to the uh, to the lost sheep, man. To the Lord's lost sheep, you know, for them to find their way back to the Lord. That's why we out here doing this work. Not out here to beg or none of that, man. We don't have to beg, man. Our Lord, He takes care of us. He take care of all His men, man. We ain't got to beg for shit. And this is why the Lord says this, man, because in that day to come, yeah. hey, we was telling y'all about it, but guess what? Only the men of the Lord is the ones that's not going to really be shook in that day. That's like, right. Like the rest of the world is. That's right. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So when we seeing the Lord cracking the clouds and he coming down here with his angels and his and the other men that died in the faith, man, we not a hey, men of the Lord are not gonna be in disparity, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean we're gonna be of course the scripture says what it says, uh rejoice with, with fear and trembling. So yeah, we're gonna be rejoicing with fear and trembling, but we gonna know that this is the end, man. And and hoping the Lord deliver us as well. That's right, man. Because the Lord, what the scripture say, He coming with what? A he come, sword. He coming with fire. Brimstone. And, and a sword, man. Matter of fact, if you can get that, I don't know if you got anything else. You got more. If you got more. You no, that was it. Get this one more and we can close up with this one, man. Isaiah 65, 66, Salaki and 15. One of my yeah. favorite <laughs> scriptures. <laughs> it yeah. definitely is. You know, this is one of my favorite ones because I visualize it in my mind. And like the brother said, hoping that I be uh, spared also, you know. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Isaiah 66 and 15. Mm -hmm. For behold, Yahweh will come with fire uh -huh. and with his chariots like a whirlwind uh -huh. to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Right, and if you don't have to fear the Lord from that, Man, your ass is just not right. You know what I'm saying? And you, the Lord made you wrong. You know what I'm saying? So you can get, you know, this judgment that's coming. That fight, that brimstone, you know, that sword, man. That sword is his word, man, you know. And a lot of people going to get burnt up because they don't believe in his word, man. Go ahead. Come. Verse 16, for by... For by fire and mm -hmm. by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh. And he gonna judge. You know what I'm saying? With fire. You know what I'm saying? You got something to say, brother? Mm -hmm. He gonna be judging, making judgment, man, on the earth, man. His fire and his sword, man. 
That's what the Lord come to do. You know, that's why you want to kiss the sun. We should be mad at you. You want to get in the right spirit, man. Get get yourself together. Get your, get, get your houses in order before the Lord come. Go ahead. And the slain of Yahweh shall be many. Damn, the slain of Yahweh shall be many. Because the Lord is going to be down here. He's going to be killing a lot of people, man. A lot of people are going to get put to death, man. Starting with the house of uh, uh, Israel, man. Okay. You know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you're going to get put to death because you don't have no, you don't believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You believe in the God of this world. That's what you believe in. You believe in Esau, Edom. You know, you believe in uh, paganism. You believe in Buddha and, 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 and Allah and all these other uh, strange gods. And, and for that, you're going to get destroyed, man. Even your own belly. Because a lot of people, well, I don't believe in none of that. You know, your own your own belly can be your God, man. And what I mean, and if you don't know what that means, that means like your own desires, man. You know, your own desires can be your God, man. You know, trying to make yourself comfortable here in this wicked kingdom. You know, that's what that means. Because you got people up here trying to, you know, uh, uh, have a storehouse here in this, in this temporal place in your bank account. That's what I mean. Saving all your money so you can live comfortable in this wicked place, man. When you should be uh, uh, getting your house in order. In your spiritual house in order, not your your carnal house. You know, but that's it, man. We can go ahead and close up. Kind of with that, we're gonna give, give all, all praises, praises Lord, and to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. That one is to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And Shalom to the true and sincere Akian that's out here listening and applying this word to your life. Shalom.